Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this system of equations x plus y plus z equal to 0, x square plus y square plus z square equals to 2 times square root of 2. And now we are going to find the value of x power 4 plus y power 4 plus z power 4. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this very first equation. We are going to move z on the other side. So therefore this equation could be written as x plus y equal to negative z. And now let's focus on this next equation. We are going to move z square on the right hand side as well. So therefore we can write this one as x square plus uh, y square equal to 2 times square root of 2 minus uh, z square. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus 2 times a b. Let's go ahead and move this 2ab on the other side. Then our this a square plus b square could be written as a plus b whole square minus 2 times ab. And now let's recall this uh, identity x square plus uh, y square equal to x plus y whole square minus uh, 2 times uh, x y we are using uh, this identity we know our x square plus y square is uh, 2 times square root of 2 minus z square so i'm going to replace this one by simply this one 2 times uh, square root of 2 minus uh, z square equals to and now I'm going to replace this x plus y by this uh, negative z. So I can write uh, negative z whole square minus 2 times uh, xy. Now let's go ahead and simplify this equation. 2 times square root of 2 minus uh, z square. And on the right hand side this is going to become z square as well minus 2 times uh, xy let's go ahead and move this uh, this z square on the left hand side as well so this is going to become 2 times uh, square root of 2 minus uh, z square and this becomes minus z square as well equals to negative 2 times uh, xy and now let's go ahead and divide across the board by negative 2 so let's do that one negative 2 negative 2 we are going to divide and we are going to divide this one by negative 2 as well on this side negative 2 and negative 2 is gone so our x y could be written as over here z square minus this 2 and 2 is gone so this simply become square root of 2 let me call that this our equation number 1 and here's our next step. Let's recall this identity once again from our previous step. If I replace this uh, a by x square and b by y square, then this identity is going to become x power 4 plus y power 4 equal to x square plus y square whole square minus 2 times x square times y square. Now this x square times y square could be written as xy whole square. Therefore we are going to write down this identity over here. I can write uh, x power 4 plus y power 4 could be written as uh, x square plus uh, y square whole square minus 2 times uh, xy whole square square and now we know that our x square plus y square is uh, this uh, 2 times square root 2 minus z square so therefore i can write this one 2 times uh, square root of 2 minus uh, z square whole square 
and we also know that x times y equals to this z square minus square root of 2 from this equation 1 so I can write this thing negative 2 outside and then I can write z square minus square root of 2 whole square and now let's recall this identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply it over here and over here as well so therefore our right hand side is going to become 2 times square root of 2 whole square plus z square whole square minus 2 times 2 times square root of 2 times z square for this part and now let's take care of this one as well so this is going to be minus 2 outside and this inside over here is going to become z square whole square plus square root of 2 whole square minus 2 times z square times square root of 2 and let's go ahead and simplify furthermore the right hand side this is going to become simply 8 and then plus this is going to give us z power 4 and on this one that is going to give us negative 4 times square root of 2 times z square and now let's take care of this part as well so I can write negative 2 outside and this uh, bracket that's going to become z power 4 plus that is going to give us uh, simply 2 minus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 times uh, z square and in the next step we are going to distribute this negative 2 across the board so this could be written as negative 2 z power 4 negative 4 and then plus 4 times square root of 2 times z square as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see this negative 4 times square root of 2 times z square and this positive they cancel each other out and here 8 minus 4 is going to give us 4 and this is going to give us negative z power 4 as you can see in this next step let's go ahead and move this negative z power 4 on the left hand side so this equation is going to become x power 4 plus y power 4 when we move this negative z power 4 this is going to become positive z power 4 is going to be equal to 4 and that's what we were looking for the value of this x power 4 plus y power 4 plus z power 4 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye